This is a Aquastar Ocean Ranger 38. It's a 1994 model, and we're gonna show you all the features and benefits this boat has to offer, from a fantastic aft cabin arrangement to the very generous saloon area and the forward cabin as well, and show you all the features and benefits this boat has to offer. So stay tuned to watch this walkthrough tour. So I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales and we're here today on the River Itchin at Itchin Marine in Southampton, right next to Southampton Football Stadium. And we're here to show you this Aquastar Ocean Ranger 38. Now she's an old girl now, 1994 model, but the owner has, has had this boat for 18 years and it's a much loved boat. So we're gonna show you around, but what I really love about this Aquastar Ocean Ranger is its practicality. And for a, um, for a boat, it's a semi-displacement boat, um, it's a very practical boat and a good liverboard. So for example, look how you get onto it. How easy is that? And we can enclose this off as well, but then you've got these really nice wide side decks and we can walk all the way round. And we've got a lovely area on the top here and round the front. There's great fender baskets and we've got an electric windlass up in the front as well. And we've got these lovely bollards to tie onto as opposed to just normal cleats and with fair leads and a nice anchor system and it's electric anchor it's an electric anchor as well and again we can continue all the way around so the side decks around this side as well um, noting it's very purposeful design so in heavy seas in rough weather it's got three wiper motors so three wipers for each screen and it just feels a very sturdy, robust boat. As I'm walking around, the boat's hardly moving. Great grab handles all the way round. And then a simple step up to the upper helm. It's got two helm positions. Um, the upper helm benefits from a slightly elevated position, so great for mooring. Um, also, it's a, um, the helm you can sit at as well, and there is footrest and steering. Um, this boat benefits, if you can see, from radar. Um, it's also got autopilot and twin Cummins six-cylinder engines. Um, they're 5.9 litres each and the, um, and the boat um, really is a nice sturdy ride. It's not the quickest boat in the world, but you can get everywhere at a good economical pace with a semi-displacement hull. Um, it also has trim tabs and of course there's a passenger seat up here as well as two rear seats. So you can always get another one, two, three, four, five or six people up here, maybe about eight in total with the helm seats as well. And um, there are storage under here, both these seats. Is, and um, if you look over the back, there's access through the center of the center seat to a ladder and a bathing platform and a tender. So the current owner just releases the tender down into the water. And we've got this davit, which you can lower and lift an outboard as well. So you've got that extra bonus of, um, um, of the tender access. Also, uh, this boat has drying legs. So being that it's a, um, a Channel Island design boat, because these boats were made in um, Guernsey, it actually, that sort of area is, a lot of boats do have drying legs and this has drying legs as well. So you can dry it out. Um, so it just opens up the door to exploring and this boat would be really, really good at exploring. We've got a rear door here, so we'll travel on down into the saloon. You can see uh, there's a VHF as well for the upper helm fitted here. Um, but then you come down into the accommodation. Now the accommodation starts off with this lovely curved seating area. And um, there is storage underneath. Um, but there's lots of storage in this boat. There's lots of cupboard space. There's lots of things, lots of places to put things. And um, because a lot of people would use this as a liverboard as well. And um, it's, it's so practical that you can do that with this. And um, so even little touches like this seat is part of the saloon seating at the moment. But if you look behind me, there's a stainless steel bar and you can actually adjust the height of this seat to different heights and it then doubles as the helm position and you can move it as well forward and back so you can have an adjustable height helm position um, which then brings you to the lower helm and as you can see down here there's much more navigation equipment um, so we've got the um, we've got the radar we've got the main VHF we've also got access to autopilot 
and there's an updated, I think it's a dragonfly. It's not, is it? It's not a dragonfly, but I can't remember which one it is. I'm having a brain freeze. Uh, elements. It's a rain. It's an element. element. That's it. It's a rain marine element, which is obviously an updated system um, for this boat. Because a lot of this navigation, which I'd imagine is quite original. I mean, the Raytheon is a precursor to rain marine, and and you can see it's an old unit, but a working unit. Everything works on this boat. I'm reassured. Um, and there's a double forward seat as well. Again, and each um, helm position seat also has steps and there's floor access to the engines. Um, so when, the, when you have them serviced, then you have floor access to the engines, and, but there's also a rear access as well, which we'll show you in when we show you the aft cabin. Into the second seating area, into the galley space, and we have a lower diner as well. This table actually opens up, so you can have it as a larger diner, um, but also it's on a pedestal which lowers and this can be made into another double bed. And in fact, the current owner has been away on this boat for the last week or so, and he's had family members, um, adult members stay um, on the boat with him and they've slept on there as additional seat. The galley is a nice curved galley. And um, there's a gas hob and gas oven. And again, lots of storage again. There's two cupboards, three, there's cupboards on the wall. There's lots of storage on here and even storage for cups and plates neatly made into the back here, so easily accessible as well. Um, but come on down. I just want you to notice the fridge. So it's a smaller fridge, but it's here. So it's got the fridge. And then also there's a heads down here. So we've got a heads with a shower curtain above. Um, it's a manual toilet. Again, with nice bit of storage, um, but a very usable, it's good head height in here as well. And um, I can stand up straight. Um, I'm just about touching, I'm six foot, um, so I'm just about touching the ceiling. Um, and then we go through into the forward beds. It's a twin, as you can see. And I'll just demonstrate the length of it here as well. Because sometimes with a GoPro, it's, they look a bit shorter than they are. But you can see when I'm stretched out, there's plenty of headroom. Um, storage again, under this side. Um, this is actually access to the anchor locker. And the anchor chain stores down into here. Um, under here as well is a holding tank. There's actually two holding tanks on this boat. Um, both are actually not in use. And the current owner um, just uses them straight out to sea, um, but they are um, good holding tanks. He's just chosen not to use them, but they can be recommissioned. There's one under the bed here and one under the aft cabin bed. The owner just chooses not to use them. Power in here. There's also diesel heating with this boat and there are outlets in every section of the boat. Um, let's follow back up. There's a small television here as well. Neatly laid flat, but it's on an arm which you can extend out. So you can have it in different positions. This table also opens out, so you can have that slightly bigger as well. Um, and then we go through down some more stairs into the large aft cabin. Now the thing to note, especially here, um, is that again, I'm standing up straight and I've got full height down here. So you don't often get that. In the, in the aft cabins of boats designed like this. Um, nice shape, you can see it's not quite square, um, but it just gives you that extra space around. But you look at all the cupboard space, there's loads and loads of storage, cupboard, 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 cupboard everywhere. Um, the other holding tanks under here, but then again, you've got another heads. And again, another fairly generous. And again, I can stand, I'd say it's probably an inch shorter than the other one, but another fairly generous space. But also, let me just take the camera off Andrew, thank you, because this cupboard here is actually engine access. Now these engines, regardless of hours, are serviced and maintained every November um, by the current owner. And as you can see, it's got lovely stainless elbows, stainless heat exchangers on them. Um, he's been using it faultlessly for the last, for his holiday that he's had. He literally only just got back this afternoon. So we've took the opportunity to do the video, um, but it does look pretty immaculate, especially if you imagine it's a 1994 boat, it's actually a fantastic condition. I mean, even looking over to the back, everywhere just looks lovely and well-maintained. You just get a really nice, positive feel about the mechanics of this boat. 
Oh, thank you. That's covered with a covered with a porthole. Oh, excellent. thank you, Andrew. Andrew was just pointing at something, is it? And uh, yes, and even he was just pointing out that even the wardrobe in here, look, it's got its own porthole, <laughs> so with the clothes can look out and enjoy the trip as well. Thank you for that. <laughs> Um, but, um, it's, but please remember, it's a 1994 boat, so it's not a perfect boat. I mean, there are little things, there's little touches around, you know, so, you know, the, the, the linings, you know, aren't perfect. They're pretty good condition. I think for 94, it's still pretty good. Um, but all in all, this boat is, you know, it's a fantastic size, very sought after. Aquastars are well renowned for their capabilities. Um, and it's hard to find a boat that's been so well looked after at this sort of age. Quite, it's sort of an average um, age for a boat in ownership, probably two to five years, something like that. And people change around. But this chap remembers owned this for 18 years. So it's been in his own ship, knows every nook and cranny on this boat and knows how to look after it. That really shows. So if this is something you're interested in, come and see it on our website, parker-adams.co.uk. Um, so please subscribe and like our channel. Um, but for now, um, get in touch with us if you're interested in this. It's at Itchy Marine in Southampton, like I've already said. But um, otherwise, thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.